in the diagram, PRQ, PRQ is a circle with center O, okay? If angle OPQ, OPQ, this angle here is 48 degrees, we have to find the value of M. So, our task in this particular question is to find the value of angle M here, okay? No problem with that. Now, looking at this, we will identify that. Look at this, look at this. This OQ and this OP, they both constitute the radius of this particular triangle OPQ, okay? And because they are both radii, we can see that they are forming an isosceles triangle, okay? So, OQ, line OQ is equal to line OP because these are radii of the circle. They are radii of the circle, the same circle. They are coming from the center of the circle to the circumference of the circle. Now, if they are radii like this, that means that triangle, triangle OPQ is isosceles. Now, these are quite interesting points to note because if they are isosceles, now we know that the base angles are going to be equal because that is the property of isosceles triangle. And here, we have been given one of the base angles as 48. So, this other angle will also be 48 degrees, okay? You can see a methodological approach that I'm taking to actually demystify this question. Now, if this is 48 and this is 48 already, by reason of the properties of triangles, we can say M is equal to 48 plus 48. Why? Because these are the sum of the, the exterior angle. M is exterior angle. is the exterior angle of that triangle and is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. The sum of two opposite interior angles okay so if you want to employ that you can just say as good as it is m will just be 48 plus 48 and that will be 96 degrees okay and that will just be option here as a solution to the question alternatively we could have said okay let's find this particular angle here okay this angle and that will be that angle if i call this theta I know then theta will be 180 minus the sum of 48 and the other 48. Why am I saying that? Because the three of them, they are angles of a triangle. And the sum of angles of a triangle is 180. So theta will be 180 minus this other two. Okay. In that case, I will get theta to be 180 minus 96. That will be 84. But then M. After doing that, I can now say M plus theta is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because look at M and theta. They are angles on a straight line. And the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. Therefore, our M will be 180 minus theta. And theta will just go to be 84. And in the same way, you will see we arrive at the same answer that M is also 96 degrees. So, these are just various ways that... The more you practice, the better you become, the more proficient you get to solve questions like this. You can look at it from various angles as befits you and you'll be able to also carry out your questions as appropriate. So the correct answer is option A, alright? In the diagram, O is the center of the circle. So O here yeah, is the center of the circle, okay? You need to note that so that we'll identify that line RP is not passing through the center. Then SOQ is the diameter, SOQ, that's the diameter, and angle SRP is 37 degrees, SRP. So this angle here is 37 degrees. We have to find angle PSQ. So PSQ, this is the angle we have to find, this angle here. Let's call it theta. That's what we have to find. Now, how do you go about solving this particular type of question. Looking at this um, circle, I can readily say that SRP and SQP, they are actually equal. That this angle is also 37 degrees. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because I know that by reason of the properties of the 
angles in the same segment, angle SRP is equal to angle SQP. Why? They are angles in the same segment of the circle. Angles in same segment of the circle. Okay? And angles in the same segment, they are equal. So that's why you can see, look at the first one. It starts with from SRP and the second one, SQP. Okay? So the angles in the same segment of the circle, they are actually equal. Then, in the second case, I can say that angle, the angle SPQ, SPQ, that's going to be a right angle, that's 90 degrees. Why? Because it is an angle that is subtended at the circumference by the diameter of the circle, okay? You know, we are told that SOQ, SOQ is the diameter of the circle. So, this is the angle that that diameter subtends at the circumference. It's a, a variant of the other theorem that the angle subtended at the circumference is half the angle at the center of the circle. And here at the center, you know, is a straight line. That's 180. So, here will be 90. So, I can say this is a right angle. Alright? So, the reason here is that it is angle subtended by the diameter at the circumference of the circle so if we are actually getting all this our work is quite done for us we cannot say that from the triangle spq spq we have now found two angles we have this to be 37 we have this to be 90 and we know that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees so we can say theta plus 37 plus 90 is equal to 180 degrees because those are the sum of angles of triangles sum of angles of triangle i'm writing all this so that it will just be a priority in our heart to understand the reasons why we are postulating all this and we are coming to the conclusion that we're arriving at so theta will be 180 minus the sum of 37 and 90 that will be 127 and if you are to carry out that 180 minus 127 will be 53 degrees so this is the way i choose to to go about something you can look at some other means that you can also employ just be consistent in using the circle theorems correctly and you will see that your solution will come out for you so yeah correct answer is option c 53 degrees So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.